What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can sign IPAs or applications with your own Apple account and install them on your device. Now this is basically the alternative method of using Cydia Impactor. Uh, as you guys know, Cydia Impactor needs to be updated in order to work and it might take a little while as Soric is the developer of it so uh, it could be a while until it's updated and fixed. I also want to show you guys this because it's really annoying when you're trying to use like iOS Ninja or App Valley or Ignition and the apps are no longer being signed and you basically have to wait for them to re-sign them to install them. Uh, this method will allow you to sign it yourself. You just have to do it on your Mac is the only caveat. Uh, so like I said, you will have to be on Mac. You can also be on a virtual machine on Windows that is running Mac or a Hackintosh. But like I said, it does have to be with Mac OS. Reason being is because we will be using Xcode to do this, and you have to have Mac in order to get Xcode. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to download is iOS App Signer. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Um, this is basically what's going to sign the application that will give it a seven-day or one-year certificate uh, of whatever app you want. So you will need iOS App Signer, so go ahead and download and install that. And then, like I said, make sure you have Xcode. Now, big shout out to Geo Snow uh, for helping me out with this, and credit goes to him for his first tutorial on this. Uh, it's basically where I discovered it. It does work, and it's really handy. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Geo Snow's channel, I'll leave his channel link down in the description. It's definitely worth taking a look. Uh, but the application I'm going to be using just for demonstration in this video is Instagram Plus Plus. Of course, you could do this with like the Uncover Jailbreak application or Chimera or any other Plus Plus apps you guys would want to use. Um, currently, they are being signed by iOS Ninja. As you can see, the tap to install on device is currently lit up. Um, so it is being signed by them, but that does get grayed out and it gets revoked. Uh, very regularly and it gets to be super annoying with these third-party applications when they're always getting revoked by like I said like App Valley iOS Ninja um, but we're gonna manually do it so you can just go ahead and click on download IPA uh, it's pretty much any IPA application third-party application you guys want to do like I said I'm just using Instagram plus plus for example in this video so the first thing we're gonna want to do is go ahead and launch Xcode and uh, what we're gonna do is first I like to make sure that my profile is signed in to Xcode. Just click on the Xcode drop down here, go into preferences, and then you go to the accounts tab here, and then make sure your Apple ID account is here. This will work for a free developer account and also a paid. Uh, so keep that in mind. You don't have to have a paid developer account. Mine is paid, so my certificate lasts a year, but uh, you can use a free account and that will last seven days. So to add an account, just click the little plus button and as you can see, you select on Apple ID and just go through that process of adding your Apple ID. So make sure you are signed in. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and open Xcode back up. Make sure you signed in, like I said. Now go ahead and create a new Xcode project. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use a single view app here. I'm gonna click on next and then we can make our product name. It can pretty much be whatever you want. I guess I'll just do um, sign app, just for an example. Like I said, it can be really whatever you want. And then you want your identifier here. It could be com.sign is what I'm using. You could really have it be whatever, but I'll just keep it as com.sign. Um, and then your language and user interface can, I think, be whatever you want it to be. I just have it set to objective C uh, and storyboard. So uh, once you have your identifier and your product name, also make sure your team is selected there. I have my organization name there. Go ahead and click on next and then create it. I would recommend leaving it on default, which is desktop, just so you know where it is. So leave it on your desktop, go ahead and click on create. So now it's gonna go ahead. And the reason why we're doing this is we're pretty much making a provisioning profile for iOS App Signer to use. So if you go to signing and capabilities, um, as you can see, this now has a provisioning profile and a signing certificate attached to it and that's basically what iOS App Signer is going to look for in order to sign the application. So what we do from here is just click the uh, the bundle or the build, sorry, the build button, the little play button, click on play and then you can just click on stop. 
You just want to see build succeed. That's all you need to see. And now we can actually close out of Xcode. That's all we had to do. And as you can see on our desktop now, there is the sign app folder, which is going to have the provisioning profile connected to it. So from here, we can open up the iOS app signer application. Go ahead and bring this into view here. The first option is the input file. This is going to be your IPA that you want to sign. And like I said, we're doing Instagram plus plus. So I'll go and select on desktop and Instagram, uh, Instagram plus plus the dot IPA click on open. And then you got your signing certificate here. Go ahead and make sure that's selected on your Apple ID. And then you have your provisioning profile. You want to change this to iOS team provisioning profile. And then you also have the ability to change application ID, the app display name, app version, and then app short version, all that. I'll leave it as is, and I'll just click on start now. And then we go ahead and click on save. Make sure you save it to your desktop. And then we're going to replace the current IPA with the new signed version. Uh, so that's all we're doing. Is all we're doing is signing the application with our own developer account. Like I said, it can be free or paid. And this is going to allow us to install it onto our iPhone or iPad. And as you can see, it is now packaging the IPA. Give it a minute to do its thing here. Depending on how large the application is, it will you know change how long this actually takes. And now we are all done. As you can see, done output at my desktop, Instagram plus plus dot IPA. So uh, that application is now currently being signed by my developer account. So from here, we can close iOS App Signer. And I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, connect my iPhone XS Max to my computer right now. So make sure whatever um, iPhone or iPad you want to install this IPA on, make sure it is connected uh, to your computer at this moment. So I'm going to go ahead and get it connected here. So now my XS Max is connected. And now we're going to go ahead and click on Xcode. And what we do from here is go to Window and go to devices and simulators. And as you can see, my 10s max is currently con uh, connected. And then we're going to add the Instagram plus plus by just clicking this little plus button here. And then we select on the Instagram plus plus IPA, which like I said, is being signed by my Apple uh, developer account now. And as you can see, uh, it will um, install it and just give it a minute to install. Like I said, this part will really depend on how big the application is. And as you can see, now Instagram++ plus plus is installed onto my 10s Max. Now with a, a paid developer account, I don't actually have to trust it. Uh, you guys will notice for those of you that have a free developer account, when you go to click on Instagram++ uh, plus plus or whatever IPA or application you install, you'll get a little pop-up saying it's untrusted. To fix that, go into settings, go to general, Go to Profiles and Device Management, and then you will see your Apple ID here. I'll just use this one as example, and just select on it, and then you'll click the Trust buttons and just go through the process of trusting your Apple ID, and then you will be able to uh, launch the application. So you can just go ahead and launch it, and as you can see here is Instagram++. Plus Plus. I could sign in if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I just wanted to show you guys this for example on how to install these uh, applications. Um, now, keep in mind with the free developer account, the certificate will be revoked after seven days and you will have to re-sign it and reinstall it. So you can use iOS App Signer on the computer again to basically just re-sign. There was an option when we had iOS App Signer open here. I'll go ahead and open it real quick for you guys. Uh, you can give your path. So we'll go ahead and select on Instagram plus plus. So this is when it's expired. This is what you're going to do is just click on open and then you can just do re-sign only and it'll re-sign that application for another seven days. Go ahead and click on start and let it go through its process. Um, so that's me pretty much it for this video guys. Again, I wanted to show you because Cydia Impactor is out of date and just not working right now and we're waiting for it to be updated and it's incredibly annoying to have the uh, certificates constantly being revoked from places like App Valley, um, iOS Ninja, Ignition, places like that. And I wanted to show you guys how you can do it um, with your own developer account. And I think it's super handy. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Uh, also, if you guys want my wallpapers, you can find them on my Telegram. I post them all there. I also post bonus wallpapers that aren't featured within videos. So be sure to check out my Telegram. The link for it will be down in the description.
But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.